This is mold toxicity. And on this July 10th, the one year anniversary of when the mold remediation was supposed to happen, which would have saved everyone all of our lives. My babies are, yeah, one year more ill. You can see it. You can, you know, ask everyone and send it to. Like, James wants to kill everyone right now. My baby James has bitten me. That's just this one. This one healed. There's another one here. My baby has bitten my face. My baby has never bitten me. Until, I hear one. Until, we moved into a fucking place. The landlord and the building, the building management are all responsible for knowing this place, this unit, 1B, uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. The violations of the warranty of habitability, yes, violations as in all three leases, the building property management and the building, yet yeah, they are also liable and responsible. And not just then, not just that amount of time, since October 1st, 2019. Oh, this one, he it. Look at my baby Leonardo. Look at this. Do you want to see what mold toxicity being rabid does to someone? Hang on, baby. Okay, so that, that's a wound. Hang on, oh, let's, oh, this one. No, 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 come in, I need, come on, this is, this is for, see that one? That is a full-blown fucking laceration that I spent, yeah, we have a triage, also kitchen unit. I spent fucking days and days and days and days and days changing the bandage, making sure that James, dude, I better be a fucking nurse. There's more, you can see more. My babies have scars. I have scars. Why? Because this place is fucking toxic. And mold and mice are both toxic. Combine the two, spread it over a whole bunch of time, especially the mold. Yeah. Especially for babies? Sadly. I need another one in a different color. July 10th, the one year anniversary. By the way, Anyone that's ever watched one of these, every once in a while, we do get to smile. And Leonardo, when, because I go manic on this stuff, and Leonardo, he's the most fucked up. Have you seen it? Have you seen his tail? His tail, his tail ain't a tail. If, like, if you, like, it's bleeding. Fuck, I don't care. Like, dude, look at this fucking place. Is this because of me? If this place was awesome, then I. I don't think there'd be plastic and gates and shit. James McMath just tried to fucking come in here. He lied. I called him. He tried to come in here so that, and yes, of course, if I cannot, well, I do not say it if I cannot prove it. Argue it, prove it, challenge you on it. Mostly prove it. And I really like an argument. Because there's a chance that you will give more away than what I've already documented. And give me, this is fucking emotional, man. Look at this fucking place. Before I found the fucking piles of mouse shit after recovering from COVID, nine days, my babies and I live here. So I had to put the fucking place back together. And we were still moving in, even though it was a year. I pulled this part of the couch out. We didn't even sleep on the whole couch. I couldn't even pull that out. When I started to put shit back together, I found piles of mouse shit under the couch that I had been recovering on. My babies and I had been living on for at least, like, dude, nine days of death. When you're laying on top of mouse shit, Mouse piss. In a place that should never have been rendered. 
that is already full of mold. Does, uh, does anyone actually get that? Their people, they spent thousands of dollars, the building and the building board and the landlords, they spent thousands of dollars to prove there's mold in here. And that mold on June 28th did not show up on June 28th. Mold doesn't do that. Especially when, I don't know, I have proven, shown, I, do you want me to send it again? All my legally recorded fucking everything. James McMath admits to knowing. Not only that this is how you fix it, this is where it's coming from. This is just the mice. And also, talking about the bathroom and the mold and the upstairs and the mold. I really have to say more than that. Like, I'm sick of this shit, man. Fucking sick of this shit. My babies and I are fucking dying. Everyone involved knows it. Landlord's attorneys, they know it. The building, they know it. Building management, they know it. Me, my babies, we know it. And... Not one motherfucking person I've ever fucking met. Oh, you got mice? That happens. Not one fucking person has plastic over everything. Has a mice and mold remediation station. There used to be a kitchen. Why? Because... Local law, NYC, HPD, local law 55 says that when a tenant reports to an a landlord or owner, a class C violation, the landlord or owner is immediately responsible for addressing it and not just addressing it, addressing it professionally. So, landlord threatened me with eviction when I told him the first time. Second time, he said, I'll pay you to do it. Don't tell anyone Please, can you send professionals? No. So, is this not enough evidence? Like, seriously, I'm an artist. I like this stuff. I like this stuff around. Who the fuck has to live with this fucking fuck? All because I found mice and I found mold. And my babies and I have been dying from mice and from mold since the day we moved in, October 1st, 2019. And it gets way more been dying from when June 28, 2021. They all of them hire their own private mold inspector knowing that Knowing that the city is supposed to come in and verify. I now get it. I get it now. James McMath, proven liar. On June 10th, 2021, via text. A bunch of messages. On June 10th, 2021. James McMath lied to his wife. First time with them, I don't care. He lied to his wife. To me. He showed me he lied to his wife. We're in a group text about, yeah, I'm in a hood too. He put us in a hotel, they put us in a hotel. And it's like a fucking 18 minute walk, 16, whatever, depends. This is June 8th. In June, it's very hot, depends on, yeah, it's fucking hot. My children are black, they're small, and the ground is very hot. And they're dying from, at the time, the mold gig, like, it was mice. 
at the time. It was focused on mice. I don't want to go through this whole goddamn fucking thing every goddamn fucking day, every fucking second of every fucking minute. I don't want to. I don't want to. The problem with why I have to is, here's the... This. I don't have to do anything. I have to send this to as many people as possible. And I haven't, I don't do that. This is because landlord James McMath said, you fix it or you'll never rent another apartment in New York City ever again. And then it became a real thing. When? Can you please send professionals? No. No. You do it, and I'll pay you to do it. I'll take it off the rent. And I said, well, can I, I don't know, I was going to send you rent money next week. Can we, like, can I send it later? Like, can I get a break? He said, let's not worry about the money thing until we get this mice issue resolved. And here's the bonus part. And I'll just keep it on here. And because of the inconvenience of having to murder, fuck, back then, I have to go back through. Back then, I think it was like 40 mice that I've been forced to murder. And I haven't eaten meat in 17 years. And James McMath, landlord, illegally forcing me to fix the mice, Class C, on my own. Over months. This motherfucker said, because of your inconvenience, I'm going to forgive two months rent. While he's also paying me $25 an hour plus expenses off of rent. He forgave two months rent because of the inconvenience. He also admitted to knowing exactly where. The first thing James McMath ever showed me when he showed up, besides that he's a fucking sexist fucking... He showed me this wall. It was. It was fucking wet. He showed me that he fixed it a bunch of times. It's gotten so much fucking worse. This is my custom remediation shit. And... Lions is out. Yeah. Dude, this motherfucker, it appears. He wasn't just lying to me. He wasn't just lying to me. He wasn't just lying to me. Things like that wasn't only lying to me. James McMath wasn't just lying to me. James McMath, he wasn't just lying to me. James McMath, he wasn't... Why do I have a HEPA filter fucking shop? Why do I have a $450 dehumidifier? I just asked, I begged for James McMath to please at least send humidifiers, dehumidifiers. No response. Crickets. Dude, this is just new shit. Okay? Okay? Look at this. Dogs, rabbit, losing hair, teeth, wounds. Didn't I just show you some wounds? This is what I do. This is my life. What is my life? them and yes anyone who's ever watched anything when I get manic like this Leon gets excited why Leon created the universe he's the one that loses the most hair why because he cares the most my baby James he just looks at me and he's like what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing Leonardo like look at his tail man his tail doesn't have fucking hair on the whole thing 
Change the back. It's a guy at Takashima. Forgive me, it's a guy. The Clinton Club condominium. Alice Lynn, board of directors, president. Still, as far as everything that's happened is concerned, continues to happen. And Leonard VOGT of the Anders Organization, building management company and property manager. Leonard. You are criminals. You are all criminals. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You're all criminals. It appears that you have. They were sold. same goods by the same salesman and also this you guys are actually also guilty of like a bunch of things I don't give a fuck about it's my babies not being murdered especially by you fucking people anniversary one year anniversary of when I had this broken arm. I broke my arm in two places, but I had this broken arm fully in it. I have to finish. Maybe I'll finish with this. Yeah, I don't go in here because um, this is toxic. So maybe I can easily fight. Like, I don't go. Like, like, I haven't had a closet. Oh, here we go. Closets ain't closets. Kitchen ain't kitchen. Bathroom ain't bathroom. Here's a part of my cast. And I dated it. Mold. Huh? Care building. Oh, bathroom faint again. For no reason. Number big scare. I spent nine hours in the fucking emergency room. Nine and a half hours. So that I could. Oh, look, there's a mouse. I haven't had a fuck. This hasn't been a fucking house. This has been a goddamn fucking. I call it Halshowitz. Any Jews? Well, I'm also Jewish, okay? So fuck off if you consider Halshowitz. And by the way, I'm also, please forgive me. I do not mean to offend anyone. Well, not with the Halshowitz thing. I call this Hal's Kitchen. My baby, he, he rented my babies and me. I'm fucking, this is the showers. Just come on in. Don't worry, it's fine. So I finished, like, dude. This motherfucker tried to fucking come in here. He tried to, like, luckily I found this gate weeks before I found. This is lucky. Change the man. The building board. And. And his organization. You are guilty. Of a whole bunch of fucking things. Let's start with. The violation of the warranty of habitability. And. On this day, accepting the cancellation of your altogether scheduled, required, legally necessary, essential, and death preventing mold remediation. One year ago today. Tomorrow is another ridiculous, oh my God, anniversary. That's when it became, oh my God. I leave you with this. On this July 10th, 2022, literally one year ago. And for anyone that I had this, this started in April of last year. So that's May and June. So two months. 
And then, like that wasn't enough to prove? Like their privately hired inspector wasn't enough to prove? James McMahon.